Ow! 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 <coughs> Ow! Ow, my leg! Ow! Ow! That hurt so much! Ah! Ah, oh, me! Um. Oh. Hey, thank you. Hey, everybody, it's DB Garzen here, and today I am really, really incredibly hyped. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. I tried to, like, jump in and do, like, a crisscross, but I got myself my life. <sighs> Mommy, girl, que me arruiné la pierna! So, anyway, today I would like to tell you a story. My very first time I tell a story. Because I would like to do this for my videos. Now, because a lot of crazy things happened in my life, and I would like to tell y'all these things. I am going to get this thing going. So let's get it. let's go let's 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 do it in three, two, one. So back when I lived in Miami, I lived in in uh, an apartment, and that has nothing to do with the apartment, but it has to do with here and where I live. There is a. a Giant, which is like a, a store back in Miami. For those of you who are watching this in Miami, we have Publix. Yeah, Publix is a, a nice grocery store. You can get your food and and we, without any problems or, or anything. So anyway, it was one s spring night. I was a uh, I was with my mom at Giant. We went inside the store. We were like, oh, we're gonna buy some stuff, yeah. And I was going through the toy section because if when you're a kid. I think it's more wonderful than like going to the toy aisle. So anyway, I went to the toy aisle, and I found these r real handcuffs. So I look at these handcuffs. I'm like, that's cool. That I like these. I'm gonna ask my mom to buy them. And that's where everything, everything, went wrong. So I open those things up. I look at them. I'm like, oh, that, that's cool. They're metal. That's that's crazy. I love I I love these. So that <laughs> I said I love these, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna put them on. And that that's where everything went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my guns show a lot when I my gums show a lot when I smile. So I'm. My mom's paying for her stuff. I'm putting them those things on, taking them off, putting them back on. I still remember it was this wrist. I put it on and I forgot what happened. But then I, my mom was like, "Okay, we're going." I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these off now because cause I I'm gonna give them to my mom so she could hold on to them, and then when we get back home, I'll play with them." I couldn't take them off. I try. I try. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and I, I couldn't I tried pulling like the, the little switch at the back it did not come off and I'm like whoa something's wrong over here because this thing is not coming off so while we were in the elevator because like here's a store and then here's like a little like area where people hang out and then here's the stairs and then next was an elevator that took us to the parking lot so when we were in the elevator I was like mom can you get these off I can't I can't get them off so my mom is like trying to get them off and everything she doesn't know and earlier, she had seen a police officer downstairs, who had, who, who obviously, no, who might know how to work with the with those things because he's a he's a cop, obviously. So we go down to the cop. We're like, hey, can, uh, my, I'm 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 we're, I'm stuck. Can can you please uh, help me? And then the cop is like, sure. And then he tries to open it. He's like, this is not right. This is thing. This thing is broken. And so they, then. He asked for the store manager. Now the manager walked out of the of the store with these huge, huge like pliers. He was ready. He was ready. He was ready. Cut that thing open. But obviously he was trying to hide the pliers so that so that I couldn't see them because back 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 in the day I was like seven, eight years old, and I was scared of big sharp things. So if I would have seen the pliers, I would have most likely had a panic attack. So he tries the pliers, and they don't work. So he then then the 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 officer decides to take this to 
the next level. We'll change your location after thinking, ha ha ha, this officer is cool, he's funny, he could, he could, he, he's funny. I realized he wasn't joking. In about a few minutes, a huge fire truck pulls into the into the parking lot and we were like, what? He wasn't playing any games. He got the firemen over here. I obviously started panicking and I started to cry and pe and I, I was like getting scared. I was I was I was terrified because I didn't know what was what was happening. I just wanted to get that thing off because it was like my ribs was turning purple and everything. Four men come out of the huge truck. And they, they look all professional. They're all like, okay. One guy over there was an expert at opening locks. So he knew what he was doing. They start working on that that cuff. And uh, I was, that was the, the really scary moment. I was sitting there, my wrist was turning purple. I thought it was gonna fall off. I thought my hand was gonna detach from my arm. <laughs> and um, be just lying on the ground like a horror movie. In that time, that night, it was a full moon, and my and my mom, she loves full moons. So, in order for, and that, that night the moon was beautiful, so my mom wanted to distract me. She tried to distract me, so she looked at, at me, she looked at the moon, and then she said, Mia, la luna, no, she said, Mia. Which means look, like in, in Spanish. And somehow she said it so loud that everybody turned up and looked <laughs> at the moon. And my mom is like, la luna. <laughs> which, mean, which obviously means the moon in Spanish. So we were, uh, we, that was a really awkward moment. But then we got back to working with the, with the lock. And then we finally, after like two or three minutes or five or six, I forgot. We finally are able to crank that thing open, and they, thankfully Publix let me choose a new toy. When that thing was removed, I've never seen such a purple and red wrist in my life. Purple, like black eye purple, like like uh, Prince purple, purple rain. So basically, what the moral of the story is, don't, don't buy hand, handcuffs or they will mess you up goes out to parents too. Parents don't buy your kids handcuffs cause cause something like that can happen. Unless they're bad though. Like if they if they misbehave you could get some of them and like like if they don't get along like you just put them next to each other and stuff. Do that. That would that wouldn't be you know that would be messed up. I hope you enjoyed like, subscribe, comment and as always folks See you in my next video.